welcome back to my channel and today I have a DIY that I'm really excited about um, I wanted to make something really pretty to set in my kitchen that looks Tuscan and something like you would see at Kirkland's so this is what I came up with to do so first you're gonna need um, a pizza pan from the Dollar Tree and then you're going to need some paint and you're going to need some royal gold metallic paint folk art i've used this many times um, you're going to need some antique gold metallic folk art paint and then you're going to need the coffee latte from folk art i love this paint but like i always say i prefer the satin but right now i can't find it so this is the matte but it'll be fine and then the metallic chocolate brown from folk art okay and then you're going to need an um like one of these um appliques from hobby lobby and you can see it was a dollar 99 and this is a lot like how i did um that picture that i painted on foil and i'll link it below and then you're going to need some aluminum foil a glue gun maybe some scissors some foam brushes, and a paper plate. This is going to be so easy. First of all, you wanna tear off some aluminum foil that will fit right here on the pizza pan. And you wanna crumble it and make it look really wrinkled and old. And you can always cut off the extra later, but I just want it to look old. Okay, and then we're just going to fold it around our little pizza pan and like I said you can cut off the extra if you want it is no problem and we just want to make sure that we have enough to really look old and we want to go down in here so that we can see that rim of that pizza pan this is gonna give us a gorgeous look with hardly any money being spent. Okay, so now we have that and that's what you have right now. We're gonna take our royal gold and you can either put it in a plate or just on your brush. And I think I'm just gonna put mine out on my brush and what we're going to do is the same principle as that other um, video that I'm going to link for you. But you're just going to take this and just start basically just dabbing it or stippling it all over this foil until it's completely covered with, um, and naturally you're going to just do it haphazardly. You don't want to cover all of your aluminum foil at this time. But what I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna go ahead for time purposes and just keep stippling this royal gold in places, but it doesn't have to be all over. But you want it, you know, distributed really well, but you don't wanna fully cover this just yet, okay? So for time purposes, I'm gonna go away and finish this and then when I get done stippling with this color, I'll be right back. Okay, here's this with this royal gold just sort of stippled all over it haphazardly. And I hope you can see it. And you really can use any color that you want. It's just whatever matches your decor. Now we're gonna take the antique gold and I'm just gonna do the same principle and you can even use the same brush. It's not gonna hurt anything. Put a little bit out on here and just hit it with that just sporadically so that all these colors are on here and try to put it in different areas that you haven't been before or you can put it you know sort of overlap the other color that you put out you're just wanting to create basically um, something that has a lot of dimension and this is how we're going to do it and make it look old. And don't forget to go around your edges with all the colors so that it will definitely match up and go around on that inseam too as well. 
so just like I did before, I'm just gonna stipple this on and then I'll be back when I have this color done. Okay, and this is what we have now. I hope you can see it. It's hard for me to tell if, if you can see the different colors, but it's really coming together. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with our coffee latte, and this is where we're gonna do it just a little bit different. I'm gonna switch brushes. You probably wouldn't have to. And I'm just gonna take this and just start dragging it down and try to fill in to where I really do not have anything. And let this dry in between. It really doesn't take very long, but let it to where it's, it's not um, wet when you touch it. And then all you have to do is just start dragging this down in through there. Make sure that mine's dry. Okay, here's what we have with the coffee latte over the other two colors of paint. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this aside and let this dry some, and then we're gonna go to our little applique here. Now, on the other one that I did, I spray painted this, but I'm not gonna spray paint it this time. I'm just gonna take this coffee latte and like I said, you can use any colors that would match your decor, and I'm just going to paint this with it. It just really, but I wanted something that looked like really old metal that had been out and had just aged. So that's why I came up with these colors, but whatever color you want is fine. And I'm just putting it on like that, and you can see I'm still leaving some lightness down in there. It's not gonna bother me at all. So I'm gonna let that dry, and then I'm going to go over it with this metallic chocolate brown. But let's see if this is dry enough. It usually takes, oh, maybe like 15 minutes or so. You just don't, and you don't want big puddles in this of paint because that will totally mess you up, okay? Now let's see, this might be dry enough. And then what we're gonna do is just put some of this on our little sponge. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start sponging in places to make it look old. And just make sure that you don't have a bunch in one spot, like really dark, you know, like it's obvious that you just put a, a blob down. And we're just gonna sponge it. This couldn't be any easier, but it gives such a nice, nice look. And this looks like something you would see at Kirkland's or even Hobby Lobby that's just that pretty metal decor that they have. I love it, but yet it's so easy to do. And if you wanted something that looked like it had a patina, you definitely could do that. But for time purposes, I'm gonna go off camera and finish this, and then I'll be back when we go to paint that. Okay, here it is. I just took it in the bathroom and used my hair dryer set on cool and low and just helped it dry some and I think it is gorgeous. You can put as much of the chocolate metallic brown on it as you want, but I thought this gives a really nice look. So now we're gonna go back to this little applique, which is dry now, and we're gonna get some of our chocolate brown again. And we're gonna put a little bit of it out. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna brush this on here. It would almost be considered um, almost like dry brushing, but not quite. And we're just doing it with this foam brush, or you can dabble it on there if you want to get the desired effect. It's just whatever you want. There isn't a right or wrong way to do this. It's just whatever you like and whatever fits your decor.
and the higher places should pick up um, a lot of that brown, okay? So you can see this is what we have right now, and I love it. So I think this is going to look really, really nice. Okay, now all we have to do, and you could even put some jute rope or just some wide rope on the inside of this, and I think it'll be really pretty. Now all I have to do is find the center in this and glue this down. So let's see. I'm going to press right here on the center to make sure that that is flat so it will adhere nicely. Okay, I looked at my ruler and this is right in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is take my glue gun and put a large amount of glue down in here. Now, I would suggest that you use E6000 or the Fix All from Dollar Tree. It works just as nice. Um, but for time purposes, I'm gonna do this and you could always use them both and then just press down on here to adhere this nicely. I'm gonna let it set a minute. And like I said, you could put the jute rope around here. This, if you could seal this properly and you wouldn't, didn't wanna put this in the center, it would even be a nice serving tray if you could put handles on it. But that is what we have right now. It's hard, let me put this up. That is what we have, I love it. It is so pretty. So I'm gonna put this over in my kitchen and I'll show you what it looks like, but you wouldn't have to keep this in the kitchen. You could put this anywhere on one of those plate stands. Um, it would be even probably be pretty hanging. So I'll be right back. Okay, right here it is in my corner when I'm getting ready to take down my Easter decor and I wanted something that would look beautiful in there and that really fits the bill. You would never know that that is a pizza pan with aluminum foil painted. You just wouldn't. I love it. It is so pretty. I wish I had better lighting, but it is gorgeous. It looks like something you would spend a lot of money for in Hobby Lobby or Kirkland's. I really do love it. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.